I'm Joanna. I'm Maya. We're in a band called Mitten Indie. I'm in Maya's band. I am in Maya band. She's really good. Yeah. Thanks for uh, coming to Blood Bunny Sessions. How would you define your sound? Do you have your own <laughs> special word you've made up to? What's the sound of your band? Um, I feel that my band, not hers, is um, a, like an electronic indie pop band. Now, to be honest, like we, we had like a, uh, a difficult time figuring out what to call it. Um, we d didn't really want to pin it down to something, but... Uh, we've kind of, we've had to, because yeah. we get asked that question. <laughs> We get asked that, no. When we have been asked that question. We've been asked that, that question, question once. Yeah. Aside from this time. Actually, just this one time. <laughs> but we have to have an answer, so it goes to electro. It was like indie electronic pop, and now it's just electro pop. And that <laughs> can be a, so many different yeah. things. Yeah. Although, even when, just I, heard it, so. when I hear that, when I hear other bands are like electro pop, I'm like, I don't know that I'm going to like that that much. But I know I'm going to like it immediately. <laughs> Seriously. I hear that genre, and I'm like, yes, it's like a shoe in. We are like a She's, Venn diagram, and yeah. in some places we intersect, and in other places we do not. The intersection is really small. So, did you not? Say. Did What did you set out? Did you set out like thinking you were going to make an electro pop? band or no we sort of set out thinking we would be friends that hung out and joanna secretly judged me for being a singer songwriter nope. and i secretly judged her for being in a hip-hop band and, <laughs> oh, and now that comes out also we'll come back to that i never judged her yes I didn't you did judge her yes, i just you didn't did. listen to her stuff right away but it was really good once i did listen to it it was very like creative and unique and we, different well done we did not have plans to do music at first um but then we hung out for a while and like we, we flirted with music for we, a long time we did flirt yeah. with music um we sent each other i think actually the turning point might have been like we both sent exactly. each other a bunch of song a bunch of songs that we both like really liked um lobster mix yes called lobster mix <laughs> very important to this we were both working on these like weird little song snippets on our own and we sent them to each other and then no that's wrong. Go on. That's not at all what happened. What happened was, mm. well, okay, that's like 95% what happened. Mm -hmm. But the thing that happened is Maya, I sent her this thing and then Maya like literally like 20 minutes later was like, oh, uh, I just, I put together this thing. These like, this like vocal idea <laughs> on top of it. I don't know. You'll probably hate it. And I would like shit my pants. It was amazing. So, truth be told, yeah. Joanna sent me that exact thing and I like, I like died. I can remember the second that I put it on mm. on these like huge speakers in my living room and played it. And I was like, this is like right on. And we had to give something a shot. Wow. So how, when was this? Like, how long have you... That was, like, two years ago, honestly, at this point. Um, yeah. But we, um, we, we didn't know that we were going to be, like, do, like, pursuing a, a project together, or a band, or turn this into anything real. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that was, that, the, the first song we ever put together was, like, May. Sketch Mix. Yeah. 11509. 2000, 2009. Yeah. Yeah. Know. But, um, <clears throat> in earnest, we've been, like, going at it for, like, a year, year and a half. Is it weird if I pass this to you guys? No, I, don't no, have, no. I mean, I've been like I don't playing have with any, this uh, the entire time. Okay. Duck or die. And we're going for the Wild Turkey corporate sponsorship. I like that. What made you choose that? Really just want them to pay me in whiskey. So We want people to pay us in whiskey. Yes. Yeah. And also, I mean, cash is fine. Also, so money. Buy whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> to buy whiskey. <laughs> a sort of a combo deal, Bye. like 80 money, 20 whiskey. That'd be really good for us. <laughs> 80 money. If anyone is out there. That sounds like a song. Definitely. Oh, next one. 
That's because yeah. I was in a hip hop band. So you, I, I, I know you want You just want a freestyle. I want a freestyle. Eighty money, twenty whiskey, man's doing it. Like that. Nope. That's nope. But then again, you're more of a singer songwriter. So okay. I understand why it didn't sort of flow. Uh, I was. I'm not like that kind of singer songwriter. Well, what kind of whiskey do you drink? <laughs> Do you this, drink the same whiskey? Um, oh, this is mine, to... as, as evidenced by the engraving. I, I've engraved this. MCM. Uh, circa 2004. Wow. Nice. At college with a screwdriver. I did that. Um, <laughs> also, there's a big dent. There is. It's because it's been used. Well used. Okay. Um, uh, I think, I would say the house whiskey is probably Jameson or Wild Turkey. Yeah. Um, a little twinkle But really, the like, there. you know, I got that anything. Sound I was drinking Travel. some Elijah Cray tonight. It's a budgie. A uh, budgie? It's a budget bourbon. <laughs> It's a parakeet. It was actually funny. We were at Ryan's house. We were doing a little practice before this, Upstairs. and Ryan had this like really fancy single malt scotch. Joanna had the Jameson, and I was like, no, I would <laughs> let like. Let me just get my. Let me have my pocket really shitty uh, own <laughs> yeah. whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'd really like to. <laughs> okay, don't do that because you're going to spill it. Oh, God. Wow. Uh, that was classy. I, can't, I really can't drink more than that in a okay. sitting. I'm gonna, <laughs> can I just do this from the. Do it. So, tell me about the hip hop group you used to be in. Okay. I will. Um, <laughs> it was me and three um, classmates of mine. There was nothing serious about it. There was choreography, swearing, and sexual innuendos. Track suits. There were there were track suits. Face there paint. were there were match, matching outfits. We had a theme for every show, basically. What were some of the themes? <laughs> oh, it, there were different parties. There was a birthday party. The makeout party was like a big party. It was a, it was a thing. It was a kitschy thing that was a total blast. At the exact same time, like maybe three or four years ago. I was like playing solo shows at Sidewalk Cafe with my guitar, and Joanna was like wearing face paint. Doing that. And, yeah. and we're rapping. And, and yeah. rapping. And somehow. And when you come together, it mm -hmm. is not <laughs> either of those things at all. <laughs> yeah. What sort of uh, 
gear do you use? What are your This is so a you question. Well, uh, when we play live, Ryan plays basically like this roll and drum pad <clears throat> where we send him the samples. Um, we'll just send him like a one hit, like kick, snare, hi-hat, and he'll basically like fashion the drum set on this on this pad and then play it live, which is awesome. Um, we send him uh, splits, like some of the splits that he runs in real time while we're playing stuff live. Um, so that's like the percussion slash kind of like programming section. Um, and then we have... Um, two micro cords that we use and a, a Dave Smith mono revolver. I wish it was a poly, but I can't afford it because that shit's expensive. Um, and then like a, a little a little Casio. And then there's there's a, mu a little music stick, little Casio music stick involved that hasn't made an appearance in our live show yet, but I hope it will. Jo um, Joanna's grandpappy gave her a uh, Casio that is called the Gold Casio. That is the key to many mitten songs, and we haven't been able to find like another one of it in the universe. Wow! So, was and I am the one that like plays a long it. time ago. Like when yes, you, yeah, yeah. Cool. like when I was like five or something like that. Wow! So the drums on the record are sequenced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like all all Joanna. Yeah. Every drum, but part. just for and then Ryan basically yes, like almost everyone. Ryan um, added like <clears throat> ninety five percent of the drums on similar sense. That was him, and then we just took it and arranged it a little bit and added like a few things. But that's pretty much fishy for the entire thing. It was that like song in particular was funny because we had gone through like a bunch of iterations of it, and um, we we sent it to Ryan with like just like sort of a, a, a really basic drum track that was like on a click, and uh, he sent us back a couple ideas, and it was like feeling like pretty good. And then he whipped this thing out that ended up being kind of like. The first one he did was like a surf. It was like a surfer. Oh yeah, um, a surfer beat. It had the local where we had like feel. this like kind of like backbeat thing where it was like uh -huh, it was totally like, different vibe. It was like on three. Like the snare was on like yeah. three, so it was just like this kind of halftime feel. And we were like, "Wow, oh, that's so different than what we thought." We're like, "What if you tried this?" And he's like, "Oh, like this." <laughs> and made this perfect thing. We're like, well, "That'll do." Describe for me what your um, recording process was like. Okay. Um, holy shit! Right. Okay. <laughs> um, it starts with. Uh, an idea that so far it's been an idea that like I'll send my it's like 30 seconds of, of something um, it could just be like a keyboard or whatever and I'll send it to her and she'll like it or not or whatever um, and then she'll send me back basically like a vocal idea and melody and lyrics on top of it that she's recorded like usually on her MacBook something like that yeah um, then I'll mix that in and just like and then we'll kind of go from there do you think that being a part uh, for the writing process affects the actual, the content, the actual songs themselves, or your sound? I think we would probably be less free with our, the, 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 the ideas we, we had, yeah. or the, or the, the, whatever risks, or whatever we, whatever, I, I don't think, like, I'll be thinking of an idea, and I will not sing it for Joanna live until I have, like, figured it out for sure. Two hours ago, upstairs, we were, like, <laughs> listening to this new song, and she's like, oh, I should just get the lyrics down. She's like, I just, I have them. I was like, can you just sing them? She was like, nope, nope, not gonna do that. I'm like, oh, cool, neat, so. Yeah. Just, Who knows how that will, will or will not change yeah. as time passes. Um, but I think, yeah, I think you're right. We probably would be a little less, I don't know. <laughs>
How did you come up with Mitten? Yes. Well, that's a great question. I know you love we that. We could have had we could have we had, had the, yeah. the the founder right there. But it's it's honestly it's a cat base name, which oh, take that for what it's. I'm made. on board. Uh, we had a friend that calls her cats the mittens or mittens, and we she calls all cats like because all it, cats because it sounds like kit. Yeah. yeah, we were sort of like alluding to like Monsters. our wishy-washy beginnings and not knowing that we were like actually going to be a band or whatever. Uh, you kept referring to it the project. The project. Like, the project. No, I think we were like Tentious. we were at like a uh, Commonwealth Mines. Mines. or something Mines. in Park Slope, and I think we were sitting in the yard. Yeah. And like, no, nope. that's not what happened. No, that what happened. happened. We were on Fifth Avenue. We were leaning on a on a newspaper. Oh, thing. that might have been it. It was what happened. Oh, when we signed up for okay, there's I a love lot this of things. detail. Yeah, there's a lot of detail. Someone knows it. Someone does. Point is. Eventually, we were like, let's just call it Mitten. It doesn't seem like anyone has that as a band name, so we're gonna run with that. We got reviewed by this blog, and um, like the first sentence was, um, when I saw a Mitten in my inbox, I thought, wow, we've really run out of band names. That was the first <laughs> sentence. <laughs> the kind I thing feel like Mitten's not as, not as, I like it. If only they bad knew is... that it was just about cats. You know, it'd be much. <laughs> they will now. <laughs> People, it's they out. will know. And you know, there's nothing that goes over well on the internet like cats. That's I true. Mean, there's no competing with cats. Well, and then we were like, oh, we like whiskey. We like kittens. <laughs> and so now, here we go. How long does that iPhone camera have to go? <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta go. We gotta wrap this. I think we're probably we go good. On.